Hi everyone, Amanda here. So I'm just going to do a really quick, <laughs> famous last words, um, some sort of insert for a journal using the Friday freebie from my Facebook group. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got these like file folders, they're quite thin ones, my friend Kay gave them me. Um, I actually made a, a really large folio out of these, they're quite good. Um, not sure what GSM they are, they're just, they're just little file folders, paper ones. So I'm going to use this somehow, I've got quite a few spares. So what I'm going to do first of all, they've got like three little lines there I'm supposed to make it so that it's got a, I've got set, I'm just going to reinforce those lines first of all. Oh, it's absolutely freezing today, so I have got my dressing gown on. I am fully dressed, I'm not in my dramas. It's just so cold. I have this old dressing gown in my craft room um, for when it's cold. <laughs> right, so, got it like so. Quite like this tab. Uh, let me have a think. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to cut it down, it's not going to be this long. So I'm going to fold till that tab is about an eighth of an inch away from there. Just so that when I fold it over it doesn't catch. Okay. And then I'm going to fold the whole thing in half along the middle score line. Okay. And then I'm going to fold that bit over the top of that bit. Okay. Yeah. That's... Have I got it straight? Wind up top and bottom, kind of. Okay, is that going to catch? No, let's just pull it out a little bit so it doesn't catch. And then I will reinforce where I've folded. Okay, now this is far too large for what I want. But what can I do? Let me just see. What do these measure? The massive 11. Right, so what I'm going to just do is... Let me think. So my journals are normally about 8 and a quarter. So I reckon if I do this to seven and three quarters then what you could do is you could sew it in the middle of a journal um you know like like so sew it in the middle there maybe or oh, what i don't know <laughs> i don't know yet because i've not done right so i'm just going to fold it all in half like so and then i'm going to get my scoreboard um, I'm just going to score it to give me an idea of where I am. So I reckon I don't want it any taller than about seven and three quarters. About there. So let me just score it. Both sides at seven and three quarters. Yeah. Because what I might do... And then open it up and do it all the way, all the way across. And what I might do is I might fold this bottom bit up to make something so that we're not wasting the card. So let me have a think. <laughs> this is called Make It Up As You Go Along Crafting. Um, so, yeah. That gives me a full span of ten and a half. So that when it's folded, what have I got? Yep, five and a quarter. So yeah, if you did your journal covers five and a half, then it would fit. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this bottom bit, let me have a think. And we could just fold that up like so. Yeah, okay. And I think, let me have a think, like so, we don't want it too thick, I think I will cut this bit down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold all of this section about 
about three quarters of the way so I'm literally there's no measuring um, I'm just doing it by eye okay and then I'm going to <laughs> I don't know <laughs> let's have a thing we could make pockets in all of these little sections couldn't we um let me think Right, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to cut this long section away. Okay. Cut this long section away. So I'm just using my scissors and I'm just going to cut where I've folded all the way across in a straight line. Can you even see what I'm doing? It's that long, I'm not in shot. So where I've just folded it, just by eye, I'm cutting very one colour all the way across don't matter if it's not perfect it's just a little journal insert okay alright okay then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to cut where that spine part is there because otherwise that would be far too bulky. So I'm going to cut again. I'm actually going to cut it at an angle. So I've got these little bits here. I'm just going to cut that at an angle. And I'm doing it by eye. You don't have to measure everything. You can just have fun and just create things by eye doesn't matter if it's not perfect okay and then just, just snip it fold it on the scar line use some smaller scissors and cut that away if you don't have these kind of folders this is another good way of using up those leftover 12 by 12s so see how we've just got that little angled corner there this is going to be pockets yeah okay so let me just have a look let me get it lined up because I've not because uh, I'm just doing it by eye and I'm not measuring you know the that probably needs just a little bit more trimming off at a slightly sharper angle so that where I've finished cutting it lines up with this other scar line here I'll get my smaller scissors in so have a look what you've got 12 by 12 leftover bits of anything <laughs> and just see what you can create um, it's all, all, all good fun Right, so let me just reinforce these. Uh, reinforce these. And let's have a think how we're going to do this now. So I'm just going to reinforce that score line there so that I can cut if I wish to. Okay, so you can probably get away with not even cutting that bit. It will it will fold. So long as it's not too bulky. Let me have a think. Yeah, we're going to leave it like that, I think. I think that's fine. And what this could be is just like a little ephemera holder of some description. You know, just put some letters in or some extra writing paper. Anything. Just for fun. And sometimes when you make things like this as well, it gives you ideas for other things to do in your journals. Um, so they're always worth, it's always worth just getting some paper and having a play. Right, so I'm going to glue these sections down now. Let me get some glue. And I'm just going to glue on this section here. Thin line of glue. There. And that will go with that bit shut and make a pocket. Okay. Thin line of glue here. 
and that will make a pocket for there. Okay. Right. So then they will. Don't want to glue. Come on, don't be naughty. They will fold in like that, it will fold in like that, and we've got ourselves a little folio. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Okay, so then all you need to do, <laughs> so simple, it's just ridiculous, is decorate it with some pretty, pretty papers. So, let's have a look what we've got. I think we'll put this one on the inside. Of here. Two. So I might need to print this out again. Um, and I'm just going to layer the inside of here. So I'll print this out again. I'll layer the inside of here with patterned paper. Okay, and then we want to do the same on here. And I'll use this. This one. And then we'll come back and we'll make some really quick ephemera. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, so some parts are sped up, but I thought I'd show you some of the process. I'm inking all the way around every single crease and edge of the folio with Vintage Photo. It's just going to make it stand out. And I'm also going to, every single piece of paper that I cut when I'm matting and layering, I'm also going to ink those. So uh, what all I do is just measure the space. Now you need to measure each piece individually because they, it's just folded by eye and not really measured. So you need to measure each piece individually and just mat and layer like you would with um, anything else. I always measure the space and then cut it an eighth of an inch off the, sorry, a quarter of an inch off the width and a quarter of an inch off the height. Then ink it and then glue it on. It's really simple. And all you need to do is just make sure you're picking some nice alternative um, parts of the, you know, the digital papers to stand out the best and look really, really pretty. So I'm just using wet glue and then you've got plenty of wiggle room and this will help strengthen it as well and it'll just look really pretty. Another thing you can do with the kit is print the pages out four to a page. It obviously shrinks them down, you make journaling cards, um, but it reduces the scale of the image as well. And I'm going to use these to lay out some of my pockets. I'm just going to show you how to um, cut your matting layers when you've made your own kind of angles that are, have not got any precise measurement. So this is what you do. So you decide which, I'm going to use these journaling cards. Okay, so I'm going to have that one there and that one there. So what, what I want to do first of all is cut this card to the same size as this section, which is, so it's four and three quarters, and then the height of the pocket is three and a half, four and three quarters by three and a half, four and three quarters by three and a half, yeah, it's roughly that, okay so that's exactly the same size as this section here now, roughly, okay, <laughs> roughly she says, so what you want to do then is put it inside your pocket, okay, line it up with the side, and the bottom have it all the way in okay all the way in and lined up flush there yeah so it's roughly the same size as my pocket then I'm going to get a pencil have I got one and I'm going to draw a line just making sure that is all the way in flat and flush with the bottom and lined up nicely either side okay and draw a line Okay, so that's your line. Then cut your line off. Cut your line off. Use my trimmer so I get it nice and straight. And that will give you the same angle. So now what you want to do is you want to make it an eighth of an inch shorter. 
So I'm actually quite happy with the increment on the bottom and the top. So I'm just going to trim an eighth of an inch from one side. So you just need to do it very much by eye if you've done just random, you know, eyeballing measurements. This is how you do it. Okay. Because you don't have to measure everything. Okay. We don't have to be... And then, you know, you just keep keep at it until you're, till you're happy. I'm going to just trim a small sliver off. I'm going to actually just trim it off the top until I'm happy with the increment that I've got. So just under eighth of an inch, which will go in the width of my cutting track. Just a tiny, tiny bit. That's probably about a sixteenth. And I'll just keep trimming a little bit off until I'm ha now I'm happy with that increment. And that fits perfect. But the main process is that my angle is the same as that. Okay? Because you might never cut the same angle twice. So if you do that, put that behind, draw your line, get that angle right first, and then trim from the side and the top. You don't need to be trimming any more off of this. Just leave that alone. Cut from the side and the top to make it smaller. Okay? I hope that helps. On with the rest. Okay, so I've finished my folio and I'm just about to make a closure. So I'll just quickly show you what I've done. I've kept it really, really simple. Um, and because it's got this nice little kind of gusset um, from the original file folder, it will hold as much or as little as you want. You can squeeze it flat to fold in a journal or you can have it as a standalone project. So I've used the beautiful papers and just matte and layered um, every single surface throughout. I've used a Tim Holtz stamp there. I've matte and layered all inside the pockets and the pocket fronts and then I've just simply cut the tags out and the journaling cards, I made these by um, printing the two sheets so this is the main collage sheet and this is the other collage sheet in the free bit and I just printed them for to a page which then shrinks them down to a journal card for you um, so I've not used anything to create this other than the Friday Freebie. I've just printed it out a couple of times and like I say, printed the main pages far to a page to get those journaling cards. Other than that, that is all I've used. Okay, look how beautiful that paper is. I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> um, I covered one of the clocks in the kit with some um, packing tape, laid it on some craft card and you can actually just tuck something down the back of there if you want. And then I fussy cut some of the butterflies and added them on, they'll probably get stickers. So you don't have to make closures for everything, but here's one simple idea. Get one of the clocks, cover it with packaging tape, layer it on some cardstock. Two holes, one either side, one at three o'clock and one at uh, what, nine o'clock? Yeah, <laughs> I had to think then. Thread something through, so in one end, under the bottom, through the top. This is just some cheap ribbon. Okay, I'll probably have to melt the ends so that it doesn't um, fray. Just literally wrap it round, see how much you want. Maybe you might want to wrap it round twice, so give yourself plenty. Trim it off. I think I will wrap it round twice. Okay. Wrap it round twice. I'm going to just pull that length a little bit through so I've got room to make a bow. Okay. And if you kind of cross it over, that'll look pretty. Okay. And then. Just tie it in a bow, but use what you've got. And if you've all you've got is string, use string. You can rip up old bed sheets, you can use anything. So this is just a cute, quick and easy project um, using just the Friday Freebie and just whatever cardstock or 12 by 12 that you've got laying around, just use what you've got. And I think that's quite pretty. I hope that helps inspire you. The link to the groups in the description box below if you'd like to come along and download this freebie. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.